Hello, my name is Eric Mossman, and I'm on the wireless product team here at Cisco Meraki in San Francisco. Today's short video is going to be about the cloud-managed wireless access points, specifically the MR30H. The MR30H is unique in our product portfolio because it features a four-port gigabit ethernet switch. We designed this product specifically for hotel rooms, dorm rooms, and multi-dwelling units. It's unique in this product category because it features a quad radio architecture. The quad radio architecture includes a dedicated scanning radio, which enables enhanced auto RF, and a Bluetooth low energy radio that enables enhanced in-app engagements. Today's short video is going to include the unboxing and installation procedures of the MR30H to show how quickly you can get this up and running inside of your environment. So we have the MR30H fresh still in the box, and we're gonna take a quick look at what's included in the box and what's on the box. A silhouette of the product, the model number and serial number, all super important information as part of the install. Opening up the box, we have the MR30H with its four port gigabit ethernet switch on the bottom. And you also pay close attention to the industrial design. It's as thin as we can make it, and it'll fit into the aesthetics of the room. Further in the box, you'll find that we've included the foam tray for all of the additional hardware necessary to install the product on a wall or other types of surfaces. And then a regulatory pamphlet. And then this is the key for the next part of the video, the mount plate. The yep, mount plate is meant and designed for a number of different standard junction boxes, which is where the MR30H will actually get installed. All right, now that we're here at the floor, we're going to remove the face plate and prepare it for the MR30H install. Now I have my little patch cord. I'm gonna connect that to my ethernet uplink and then put the excess into the wall. Now we have the mount plate and we're putting the mount plate on with that screw that we took out from the face plate. I fed through the ethernet uplink and we'll use that for the MR30H rear uplink port. Once the uplink is plugged in, all you have to do is snap the MR30H onto the mount plate and you've completed your installation. Wait for the LED to turn green and it's ready to serve your guests. We have also included a security screw that can be installed into the MR30H and locks the MR30H into its mount plate. To remove the MR30H from the mount plate, you'll need to use this tool to eject it. Some installs might require an optional accessory called the spacer that fits right behind the MR30H that preserves legacy phone lines and coax cable services. So you can see, it's really easy to get the MR30H up and running in your environment ready to serve your guests. If you have any questions or would like to get a little bit more information, visit our website at meraki.cisco.com. Also, sign up for a webinar where you can get even more deep dives into any one of our Meraki products. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.